Programming your Harry Potter remote control wand is very simple, and it only takes a few minutes. I'm going to show you a demonstration of how to program an iPod dock. Now keep in mind, you can program up to nine gestures for any device that has an IR remote, TV, DVD, stereo, and many more. You can also program and use multiple devices at a time. Just remember, each gesture can only be used to program one function. Let's get started. First, turn on the remote wand by holding the wand button down for just a couple of seconds until the light comes on. Then, hold the wand steady and quickly press the wand button three times. Be sure to hold down the third press until you see the tip flash green and then orange, about once per second. Okay, now you're in programming mode. Let's start by programming the track up feature. First, we need to tell our remote which wand gesture we want to control the specific iPod feature. Let's use the flick right gesture for this. When you flick right, the wand will flash six times and then start pulsing. While it's pulsing, point the tip of the wand at the top of the device's remote control and press the track up key on the remote control. Just a quick press on the remote control is all you need. You will hear and feel a strong pulse from your wand. This means the function was programmed successfully. Now I'm going to program the track down function using the flick left gesture by repeating these steps. Flick left. This time, the wand will flash five times and start pulsing. While it's pulsing, point the wand at the remote control, about an inch away, and press the function key on the remote control that you want to match your wand gesture. You can exit programming mode at any time by pressing the wand button once. But before we exit, let's quickly do a few more functions. Now let's try programming the roll gesture. I find this function works perfectly for increasing or decreasing the volume. Again, let's start our gesture by rolling the wand clockwise. The wand will follow with two flashes and then start pulsing. While it is pulsing, point the tip of the wand to the stereo remote and press volume up. You will hear a strong pulse confirming that the programming was done correctly. Now we're going to do the opposite gesture to program the volume down. I'm going to roll the wand counterclockwise. For this gesture, the wand will only flash one time. Again, while it pulses, press the iPod remote button volume down while pointing the wand at the remote. Let's program one more gesture. I'm going to program the push forward gesture as the play button. Again, you can make that gesture perform any function you want, but this time I chose the play function. So let's gesture by pushing forward. You will see seven flashes and then it starts pulsing. While it does, press the play button on the iPod remote. Remember to wait for the acceptance pulse by the wand to confirm that your program is complete. Now I'm going to exit programming mode by simply pressing the remote wand button once. Now, instead of using your stereo remote control, your Harry Potter wand is your remote control. Let's try it. Play. Change track. Volume up. Volume down. Easy. At any time, you can go back into the programming mode and add additional gestures by holding the wand steady and pressing the wand button three times. Remember to hold that third press until the green light flashes and the orange light blinks. Thanks for watching, and have fun with your Harry Potter remote control wand.